Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez, and today I'm doing a review on the Falcon Eyes SO40TD LED light. Just so you guys know, I did get this light in exchange for this review, but the review itself is my complete and honest opinion. So as you guys know, I've been experimenting with a lot of LED lights lately. So when the company that made this light, Falcon Eyes, reached out to me about reviewing this light, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. The light comes in a nice padded case, and inside that case, you're gonna find a manual for the light. You're gonna find the light itself, of course. There's also the AC power brick that uses an XLR cable. And to connect that power brick to the wall, you have the power cord, an antenna to connect this light to different lights, and a little card to show you how to connect this light to other lights. If it's not already connected to the light itself, you'll find a Sony MPF to V-mount battery adapter. There's also this very convenient V-mount to Velcro strap that you can use to attach the power block to the back of the light. This light actually comes in three different sizes. There's the 40 watt, the 60 watt, and the 66 watt version, with the 40 watt being a square design, the 60 watt being a bigger square design, and the 66 watt version being a rectangular design. When it comes to powering this light, you have three different options. You can either connect it to the wall via the AC power block. You can also use the Sony NPF batteries, or you can do what I do and use a V-mount battery. When it comes to controlling this light, it's extremely simple. On the back of the light itself, you're gonna find a control unit on the top, and on the control unit, you have an LCD display that displays the power intensity of the light in terms of percentage. You're gonna find the temperature of the light, there's a channel button that you can use to control another 40TD. And of course, there's gonna be an up and a down arrow underneath both the intensity of the light and the color temperature so you guys can adjust those. One thing I did wanna mention is that the LCD is very touch sensitive. So you can just touch it very lightly to make the adjustments. You don't have to press hard or anything. When it comes to the color temperature of this light, it can go all the way up from 5600 Kelvin, which is gonna be daylight temperature, all the way down to 3000, which is gonna be tungsten temperature. And in regards to the intensity of the light, it can go all the way up from 100% all the way down to 0%, which is gonna be off. Adjusting the light is simple as well. All you have to do is just loosen that knob on the side and then you can either adjust it going up or down. But one thing I did wanna advise you guys on about this light is that once you start to loosen that knob, you definitely wanna hold one hand on the top of the light where the control unit is because it's pretty heavy. So as soon as you start to loosen that knob on the side, um, you're gonna feel that weight go all the way down or forward or back. So you definitely wanna be careful with that because this light is built tough and in case somebody is really close to the light for some reason, and you loosen that knob, it might hit them, and because it's built so tough, it might be a really bad injury. One neat thing about this light is it has these little C-shaped little designs on the sides of the light, which is gonna be helpful in preventing a lot of tension on the cords. So you can use these little C-shaped things on the sides of the light to kind of prevent that tension by putting the cords through that so that it doesn't give a lot of tension on the cords themselves, which is gonna damage them. Depending on the power source that you use, the little light switch on the side of the light is either gonna be forward or back. So make sure to know which side that is. So when you go to a photo shoot and you turn it on, you don't think the light is gonna be dead or that you're experiencing some sort of technical difficulty. And last thing, when it comes to the light quality of this light, I was really amazed by how soft it was because I thought without a modifier that it's gonna be a harsh direct source of light, but it's actually not. The reason for this nice light quality is because this light is designed a little differently than I'm used to which is an edge light design, which means that there's LEDs around the light that are aimed towards the back and reflecting forward. So it's a nice even distribution. All right, so that's pretty much it for this review. Stay tuned to see a behind the scenes look into a portrait shoot that I did using the light so you guys can see exactly what the light is capable of doing. If you found this video helpful in any way, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. All right, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.